Hi, welcome to the 5-Minute Proxy. I'm Bill Oakes with Blue Coat Solution Marketing, and today we're going to be talking about Polycom and video conferencing. Polycom was founded in 1990 by two ex-PictureTel employees. They started out with audio conferencing speakerphones, but branched out to other areas of telepresence very quickly. They are considered the market leader in the video conferencing market, with 2,700 employees worldwide and just under $1 billion in revenue in 2009. So when people think video conferencing, they do think Polycom. And Polycom video conferencing systems use the WAN to handle their links between systems. And unlike data files, video conferencing data traversing the WAN are not big files. They're not chatty, and they may not even be TCP. You're not so much worried about optimizing them, per se, as you are worried about protecting them. They're easily overwhelmed on the WAN, and they are small, sensitive to time and order, and need protection, a guaranteed pipe, so to speak. Let's take a look at what can easily happen in a video conferencing situation. So in this particular scenario, I've got some people in a branch office who are going to start a video conferencing session back at corporate. As they start their session, there's a data flow that takes place between the two Polycom video conferencing systems. Let's take a virtual look at what that is really going on. Here you can see the Polycom data flow as information flows back and forth. But this is not a dedicated network, so you've got some other things on the WAN. For instance, you've got a user watching a YouTube video, and he's enjoying it, so he's let all his friends know about it so they can watch it. The Polycom data stream is starting to get crushed by its competition in the pipe. A few people start a webcam session over Skype, and then a couple of Facebook video sessions kick in, and the new trailer for Iron Man 2 just came out on iTunes, so once the word gets out across the company, People start flocking there to check it out. The end result is instead of having a nice, clean video session, you end up with this. So how to fix this? Application visibility and control. By installing a packet shaper on the network, we can analyze what's going on through granular discovery and start to take steps to fix it. In this example, we see dozens of applications highlighting the fact that recreational traffic is consuming most of my bandwidth. Now this is done with real-time and historical reporting, and it's not just averages, but also utilization peaks to show bursting modes of congestion. In fact, there are over 100 metrics per application that are tracked to provide a deep, granular view of what those applications are doing on your network. So by installing a packet shaper online, or inline, excuse me, what happens is that we'll see all of the applications actually consuming bandwidth. And being able to see them means that we can begin to control them. This allows you to begin to protect critical applications such as video conferencing and even regain headroom for future WAN growth. So using our same example as before, this time I'm going to drop in a pair of packet shapers in line to manage my video conferencing needs. In doing so, what I've done is guaranteed a specific bandwidth to ensure that my video conferencing data is enough to meet the requirements for a clear, jitter-free session. Additionally, while I could have taken the steps to eliminate recreational traffic, in this case, I've just issued a policy to reduce bandwidth availability for certain, certain types of applications, such as recreational or social networking. The end result is a video conferencing session that is picture perfect. So in summary, Polycom video conferencing is an incredibly valuable and cost-saving tool. Video conferencing over the WAN, however, can be pr quite problematic. Packet Shaper provides application discovery and control, helping to ensure a smooth, jitter-free video session. For more information on Bluecoat and Polycom, visit bluecoat.com. Thanks for taking five minutes from your schedule to listen to this presentation and stay tuned for the next five minute proxy.